The Brave Rabbit Once upon a time, in a forest, there lived a small rabbit. Unfortunately, the other animals in the forest were unkind to the rabbit, teasing and bullying it. Hey, friends, where are you going? Can I come with you? You're just a little rabbit, and you're not beautiful like us. Get out of here right now. Feeling sad, the little rabbit left. One day, a very bad lion came to the forest and started hurting and eating the animals. The forest animals were scared and unhappy. Their leader, Heron, called a meeting to find a way to stop the lion. But they didn't invite the little rabbit. Every day, the lion slaughters our fellow animals. We must find a way to confront this lion. Do you have any ideas? The other animals were upset and said, I have no ideas. I don't think this problem can be solved. The lion is too terrifying. Then, all of a sudden... Don't worry, I've got an idea. Uh? It's hard to believe you've got an idea. Are you trying to cause trouble? Quiet down. Let's hear what the rabbit has to say. And then we'll decide. Tell us your plan, little rabbit. You all need to follow what I say. So, the little rabbit explained the plan. Alright, I'll go along with your suggestion. And all the animals followed the little rabbit's advice and went to the lion. When they reached the lion... Dear King, please don't hurt the animals. If you keep catching and eating animals like this, there won't be any left for you to eat. We're willing to bring prey for you every day if you agree. Uh, <sighs> that sounds good, but I want to make it clear. If you're late with the meat, I'll have to eat all of you. Be sure you can keep your promise. We promise our king! One day, it was time to bring the lion the promised prey. The rabbit went to the lion, but he was too late. The lion got very mad because the other animals didn't arrive on time. The animals didn't keep their promises. Tomorrow, I'll catch and eat them. While the lion was still angry, the little rabbit showed up in front of him. <sighs> you're very small, and you're late too. Why did you break your promise? Because of your mistakes, I will eat you and all the other animals. Oh, our king, it's not our fault. This morning, on my way here, I met a lion just like you. He claimed this forest as his own, and he said any animals that enter his forest become his food. He threatened to eat me, so I told him I had to go to our king lion and would come back. That's why I was late. The lion, after hearing the words, got very mad and said, <sighs> I'm the strongest animal, and I'm the king. Just show me where he lives. Then the rabbit led the lion to an old well. Our king, that lion lives in this old well. The lion looked into the well. When he saw his own reflection, he thought it was another lion. He roared. And the sound echoed. He believed the other lion was roaring too. I'll prove my power right now. Furious, he jumped into the well to try to attack that lion. In the end, the ravenous lion met fate and died.
You're the hero who saved us. We're sorry for being mean to you. Can you forgive us? You're all my friends. Of course, I can forgive you. Don't worry about it. The story tells us that being big and strong doesn't make someone great. What truly matters is being kind and fair to others. So, let's be like the rabbit, brave, kind, and fair. We can make the world better that way.